Welcome to this video demonstration of Dell Open Managed Network Manager. Over the next 15 or so minutes, we'll give you a high-level tour of Open Managed Network Manager and show you how it simplifies management of your Dell networking environment. Open Managed Network Manager is Dell's network management system offering. We know from IDC that administrators spend about 75% of their time dealing with issues of configuration, monitoring, and maintenance of their network infrastructure. Dell Open Managed Network Manager is designed to simplify and automate those tasks to allow administrators to spend more of their time dealing with more strategic concerns. Open Managed Network Manager provides facilities to discover the network devices in the environment, render physical and logical topology maps, manage the configuration of a device or groups of devices, monitor the health and performance of the network, manage events and alarms, and schedule maintenance activities such as configuration backup and firmware download. Open Managed Network Manager is available free of charge for management of up to 10 devices from the Dell website at dell.com slash network manager. Additional devices can be managed by purchasing add-on licenses from Dell S&P. The latest release is Open Managed Network Manager version 5, which adds some important new features, including support for Dell Force 10 devices. This means that with Dell Open Managed Network Manager, Network administrators now have the ability to manage the entire portfolio of Dell networking devices, including Dell Force 10, Dell PowerConnect, PowerConnect B Series, and PowerConnect W Series wireless devices, all from a single pane of glass. Open Managed Network Manager version 5 also adds a new web GUI interface, which simplifies and makes the product highly customizable. In addition, there are important new features for traffic flow analysis, which enables the administrator to see which users, devices, protocols, and applications are consuming most of the bandwidth on the network, and a feature called ProScan, which enables the network administrator to determine whether changes made to the network configuration comply with organizational policies. Now let's jump into a demonstration of Open Managed Network Manager. The Network Manager homepage is designed to put some of the most common management tasks at the network admin's fingertips. On the left side of the screen is the navigation menu. On the right side of the screen, is a quick navigation menu for easy access to some commonly used functions, such as device discovery to discover the devices in the network, link discovery to discover the connections between network devices, configuration backup to back up the current running configuration of one or more devices, OS image upload to manage device firmware images and deploy to load a new firmware image on one or more devices, and license management for keeping track of installed device licenses. The middle of the screen is populated by configurable portlets. By default, the home page shows a list of managed devices, alarms, a snapshot of active alerts in the network, and the top problem nodes. However, if the network admin prefers to see different information on the home page, these portlets can be customized or replaced with different views. Most of the network manager screens throughout the product can be customized in this manner. Let's start with network discovery. Discovery can be started from the quick navigation menu by specifying an IP address range and a set of network credentials. For larger networks, however, the network administrator will typically establish one or more discovery profiles, which can be saved and executed as needed. You might set up a discovery profile to, to discover devices on a particular network segment for a given location or department or for a specific type of device. A discovery profile specifies the device naming format, format, such as IP address or sysname, the IP address range within which devices will be discovered, and the authentication credentials. Network Manager supports numerous authentication protocols so that the product can securely communicate with the device once it has been discovered. The inspect function will validate the authentication credentials before discovery is actually run. Once the discovery profile is complete, it can be executed immediately or saved for later execution. Typically, admins will execute the discovery profile periodically in order to discover any new devices that have been added to the network. Once the devices have been discovered, they can be displayed in a, in a topology map. The default topology map is highly customizable. You can move devices on the map to create an accurate physical representation of your actual network topology. You can also change the topology layout if, for example, you prefer a hierarchical view as opposed to the radial view you see here. By selecting current layout, 
and changing your view style. Mouse tipping over a device will show you the device information about the device. Mouse tipping over the connection will show you information about the speed of the connection. The legend on the right hand side will also show you information about connection speeds for the various links in the network. You'll notice that a few servers are displayed in the topology. If WMI discovery was enabled during network discovery, the servers on the network edge will also be included in the topology map. From the topology map, you can expand any device to see its various ports. The network view also allows you to see graphically which devices have active alarms and enables you to drill down into those alarms for more information. Finally, you can execute a number of functions against the devices. We'll consider these functions in more detail next when we look at the resources page. The discovered devices will also be listed on the resources page. From here, you can access numerous device management functions. Clicking on details will allow you to drill down into a particular device to see current alarms, port status, performance indicators such as CPU and memory utilization, an audit trail of changes made to the device, and information such as the device serial number and firmware revision. For further information, you can select a specific port, click on details again, and get information such as the Learn MAC address. You can also cut through directly to a device's onboard management interfaces, such as the MIB browser. You can open a terminal session in order to execute CLI commands without needing to re-authenticate, since the authentication credentials were entered when the device was discovered. Or if the device supports an onboard GUI, open an HTTP session to manage that device. From the resources page, you can also back up the device configuration or view the latest configuration file. If you are experiencing instability in your network, you may want to compare the latest configuration file to a previous one to see what has changed. Network Manager will highlight the differences between the current and a past configuration file and allow you to compare with a number of previous generations of config files. You can also see key performance metrics for the device, such as utilization, ICMP errors, SNMP traps, and other important performance indicators. For a broader look at performance across the network, Network Manager provides a number of resource monitors and dashboard views. Let's take a look at a couple of those. Top end shows the devices generating or consuming the most traffic or experiencing the slowest performance or most errors slowest ping response, top interface bandwidth, CPU, or memory utilization, and most interface errors and top problem nodes. These views can be configured to show as many devices as you need to see. The network dashboard is also customizable and gives you a graphical view of network performance. By default, the network dashboard shows you interface top talkers, which shows bandwidth utilization and errors, but can also be configured to show CPU utilization, memory utilization, bandwidth utilization, or the output of custom monitors. One of the important functions of Network Manager is the ability to configure Dell switches. Network Manager has a series of actions, which are menu-driven scripts that can be run against one or more devices at a time. For example, let's say that we want to enable a VLAN on a Force 10 device. We select the Enable VLAN action, select Execute, and then select the device or devices that we want to enable that VLAN on. We'll select a Force 10 Z9000 for this example. We select the device. And then enter the VLAN information, such as the VLAN ID, the IP address, and mask, and then select Execute. This enables the administrator to quickly and easily run configuration commands without having to understand the CLI syntax and to run commands against multiple devices at one time. You can also create custom action scripts. 
For example, we have created a custom action script for CPU stats in debug. After filling in the general settings, such as the action name, type, and description, the administrator can create a script using the device's CLI commands, Perl scripting, or a combination of the two. Here you see a script written in the device's CLI language. This allows more experienced administrators to create scripts for actions that they may need to frequently run or to create them for junior admins who are less familiar with the CLI. As you can see when we execute this particular action, the output will display in a network manager window. Once again, we'll select the device. Add it, save it, and select Execute. The command will run. The output displays in a network manager window, but can also be exported to a PDF file for offline use. Finally, ensuring that device configuration complies with organizational policy or regulatory mandate is an important consideration for today's network admin. Network Manager's ProScan function helps ensure that device configuration changes do not put a device out of policy compliance. For example, we have defined a simple device policy that states that SNMP must be set to public for all devices in our network for management purposes. We set our general properties to SNMP and our criteria to public. ProScan can be run on a scheduled basis, and it will check to make sure that all my devices, or at least all the devices that I've applied this policy to, have their SNMP string set to public. As you can see, all my devices are compliant. If one or more of the devices are out of compliance, ProScan will notify me, and I can follow the device's audit trail to see what changes were made to the device and when. Managing alerts and alarms is another key capability of Network Manager. The alarms page gives you a snapshot of alarms that are currently active in the system, as well as an event history. The administrator can manage current alarms on this page, for example, by assigning an alarm to another admin or user, by acknowledging or clearing the alarm, or emailing it to an admin who is re responsible for handling the issue. Network Manager also gives you the flexibility to define how alarms are handled. The network administrator can set or change the severity of specific alarms or set the behavior associated with that alarm. The admin can also define pre- and post-processing rules that determine how a particular alarm is handled. An example pre-processing rule might be to suppress or discard the alarm. A typical post-processing rule might be to email the alarm or send an SMS alert to an administrator any time that specific alarm is received. Another option might be to run one of the action scripts in response to a given type of alarm, such as the CPU debug script we showed a few minutes ago. Network Manager thus gives you very powerful tools to handle unusual events in your network. As with displaying performance information and handling alerts and alarms, reporting is also critical to network administrators who are concerned with keeping their network functioning optimally. Network Manager includes a number of predefined reports, such as subnet reports, port reports, inventory asset reports showing the devices in the network, or interface monitor reports. A common administrative question is, what versions of firmware are my devices running? By selecting the firmware report, we can see all the devices in the network and the version of firmware on each. The reports are output in PDF format so that they can be saved or printed for offline use. For more detailed device information, the inventory asset report can be run. The inventory asset report will show you the entire device inventory with serial numbers, IP addresses, MAC addresses, and service and asset tags. Network Manager also includes a number of report templates which can be used to quickly create custom reports. Much of the power of Network Manager is in its ability to automate and schedule operations and to run operations against multiple devices at once. This is enabled by creating device groups. Network Manager allows you to create both static and dynamic device groups. A static group is a group of devices that have been defined together by the administrator, say all the devices in a particular lab, 
or in a particular site. A dynamic group is a group of devices that meet certain criteria defined by the administrator, say all the devices of a particular type. The membership of a dynamic group can change. For example, if you have a, a defined a device group for all of your Force 10 S-series switches, a new S-series device that gets added to the network will automatically be added to that group. Once a device group has been defined, operations can be executed or scheduled against that group. For example, you might want to back up the configuration of the entire group or deploy firmware to a group of similar devices. The administrator can also schedule most of the network manager operations for execution at a later time or on a defined interval. This can be done from the schedules page. Actions and reports can also be scheduled to run from their specific pages. For example, you might want to schedule a firmware deployment to run overnight or a configuration backup to run on a weekly basis. As you can see, Open Managed Network Manager provides the network administrator with a complete set of powerful tools for managing the health, performance, and configuration of their Dell network. Open Managed Network Manager can be downloaded free of charge for up to 10 devices from the Dell website at www.dell.com slash network manager. Additional licenses can be purchased through Dell SMP to support larger configurations. We invite you to download Open Managed Network Manager and see how it can help you simplify the complex job of network management. Thank you for watching.